According to current quantum theory, particles can spontaneously appear from nowhere. Apparently, they just pop into existence in the vacuum of space. Matter and antimatter, which, because they're opposites, cancel each other out in an instant. The lifetime is one thousandth of one billionth of one billionth of a second. We are now in an ocean of particle-antiparticle pairs, permanently appearing and disappearing. Dr. Dragan Hajukovic thinks something else happens to these particles to produce an anti-gravity effect. For the briefest moment of their existence, these particles can be polarized like iron filings. The trouble is to get it in a random orientation. If there is a magnetic field, the random orientation will change. Yes. According to Dragon, in the same way iron filings respond to a magnet, pairs of quantum particles respond to mass. With matter and antimatter, pairs are briefly orienting themselves in relation to that mass. Matter is attracted to the positive mass of a planet or a star, while antimatter is repelled by it. Dragon believes this creates a halo of anti-gravity dark energy around every mass in the universe. All these halos together has negative pressure, what is exactly what we need in cosmological equations to produce the accelerated expansion of the universe. It means that there are both positive and negative gravitational charges. So far, we know that gravity is only attraction. It may be that gravity can, uh, uh, is also repulsion, but not between matter and matter, but between matter and antimatter.